Well, we're getting into spring up north. There's still some snow on the, uh, on the banks here. I'm on the Mississippi River today, but I've been seeing a lot of comments pop up on some older videos talking about what is the cheapest option that I can get into a Garmin LiveScope unit. So in this video, I'm gonna break down at least four different units here that I think are great buys when you're trying to get into LiveScope. They're, it's LiveScope, so it is expensive, but it's not gonna completely break the bank, hopefully. So if you have a kayak, a canoe, maybe a smaller John boat, I highly recommend taking a look at one of two options, either the Echomap 7.3 SV with the LiveScope LVS32. Now, right now on sale is the LiveScope LVS32. I think it's 1100 bucks. It's crazy. Back when I first started using Garmin LiveScope, I think this was priced at 1500 So it's already $400 off probably four or five years ago is when I first bought mine. So pretty good deal. The 7.3 SV, I think is around $650, $700. So the second option is the Echomap 93 SV. And this is what you saw on my old boat that I had. I had, I love the Echomap 93 SV. I had, I actually had three of them. I had two at the dash, one at the bow of the boat. Uh, the sale I believe is for the GT54 transducer. And I think it's around 700 or 750 bucks. Combine that with the LVS32 Live Scope, which is a great transducer. I know people are looking at that Live Scope Plus, and that is a really good transducer as well. But the LVS32 is still a really good transducer, and it will show you uh, basically all the crappie that you possibly want to see. Once you get familiar with it, um, I mostly chase crappie on this channel. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great tool to use when you're fishing brush piles, rock piles, trees, anything like that. So with the 93 SV and the LVS32, I believe you're under 2000 bucks for a live scope unit, which when they first came out, I don't even think you could get one for under $2,500, uh, that type of package. So those are the two units that I'd recommend if you got a smaller boat or you're just looking for the best economic deal. The 7.3 SV is a seven inch screen, 93 SV is a nine inch screen. And again, probably the best bang for your buck and Arguably the most popular bundle sold nationwide is that Echomap 93SV with the LiveScope LVS32 transducer. Now, if you're looking to step up into some bigger units, as you can see on the dash here, GPS map units or the Echomap 102, 106 units. Now, I use the GPS map units because I film a lot for YouTube. And the GPS map family of units allows you to use the Active Captain app on your phone to record the screen. And it works for live scope, 2D sonar, side imaging, you know, maps, all that fun stuff. But that's why I go with the GPS map. There is a 106 SV, the Echo Map 106 SV, which is a 10 inch screen. I think it's on sale for around $1,200, which is about the same price point as this unit here. This is the GPS map 1022 which is what I would recommend if you're looking at a 10 inch screen. This GPS map 1022 is just a worldwide base map. It doesn't have sonar or anything, but it is compatible with live scope. And for a 10 inch screen, at least it used to be the best bang for your buck. But now that that Echo map 106 SV is on sale, I think it's a toss up between those two. If both are at full retail price, I'd highly recommend the GPS map 1022. Now, if you're looking for a unit that includes mapping, I'd recommend the big brother of this unit, which is the unit I have on the bow of the boat here. And that's the GPS map 1042 XSV. And the XSV stands for side view. So it's got the mapping built in, your lake view contours, the Navionics. Um, it can be plugged, you can plug in a transducer, like a regular side imaging transducer to it. Um, and then you can use live scope as well. So if you're looking for something a little bit extra, I think it price point is a couple hundred dollars more than the 1022. So those are the 10 inch screens I would look at. Now, if you're looking for the 12 inch screens, I just go to the next step up with these GPS map units. The GPS map 1222 is the least expensive 12 inch screen that I've seen. Um, I believe it's around 1600, 1700 bucks if, I'm, if I remember right. Combine that with the LVS32, you're still, I mean, you're probably still $2,600. Now that's, I understand that's a lot of money, but if we're talking live scope, 
12 inch screen, that's probably the best bang for your buck. And if you want mapping, you could use the GPS map 1242 XSV. And again, it's got mapping and it's got all your sonar, 2D sonar, down imaging, side view, um, plus the live scope on that XSV unit. Those are kind of the four, well, three to four options that I would go suggest if you're first getting into live scope and you don't want to completely break the bank. Those are the four classes of units that I would look at. 7.3 SV for the seven inch screen. If you're on a kayak, canoe, maybe a small John boat. The 93 SV, especially right now in the springtime, a lot of places have them on sale. Uh, that nine inch screen, just great all around package. Probably the most widely sold package when it comes to live scope bundles in the United States. And then if you want to step your game up, the 1022, the 106 SV or the 1042 XSV GPS map units, great 10 inch screens. Those, those are what I use for live scope. And then you can always go up to the 12 inch screen, which is the 1222 or the 1242 XSV. One that I always just throw out there, if you just, you got the money, you want to spend it, the 8616, the GPS map 8616, it's a giant 16 inch screen. You know, with, it's not really a budget screen by any means. I think it costs like five or $6,000 just for the screen itself. But hey, if you got the money, go for it. I don't have the money for that, so. <laughs> but you might pull the trigger on it, why not? Got sales going on this spring. LVS32 transducer is on sale at a lot of places. Um, and then a lot of these units are actually on sale as well, both the GPS map, 1022, 1042, um, a lot of the echo map units are on sale. So this spring, if you're gearing up to rig up your full boat, kayak, canoe, whatever, now's the time, pull the trigger on live scope. Uh, probably the best price I've seen on live scope since it's come out, since Garmin released it five, six, seven years ago. So good luck on the water. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below. I always appreciate hearing from you and uh, we'll see you in the next one.